This is Bucky's. It's the largest gas station in the world. It started back in the 80s by a guy named Beaver. I kid you not. He started this gas station house of Houston, but it was just kind of small and dinky, kind of like any other gas station. He teamed up with a business partner, and together they opened about 20 of these little gas stations near Houston. It took 2003 that they decided that they wanted to shake things up a little bit. When they opened a store in Luning, Texas, which is next to San Antonio, this gas station was big. Around the time, they also started selling t-shirts and their Buggies merch and their famous beaver nuggets. It's, you can arguably say around this time is when the Buggies cult following started to cultivate. After 2003, when they started opening many of these big 50,000 foot long stores with hundreds of gas pumps. Eventually, when they opened one in Alabama and in Florida and Georgia, now there's 40 of them around the nation. This is a 200 foot long stuffed rabbit. It lies on a mountain in northern Italy and no one knows how it got there. Nah, I'm just kidding. A group of four artists created the rabbit in 2005 and it was supposed to last for 20 years, but in 2016, it has almost completely decomposed. And now, judging from Google Maps satellite images, it looks like only the outline is left. There is a secret about Chuck E. Cheese's the company doesn't want you to know. If you ordered a pizza from them a few years ago, it probably came out looking something like this. The pieces looked so mismatched that people started to believe the company was reusing uneaten slices, piecing them together like a puzzle to form a new pizza. A Chuck E. Cheese's of course denied these allegations, but there's still no explanation of why these pizzas look this way, and it leads us to believe that Have you ever wondered why cartoon characters are always wearing gloves? It's one of those things that we all just accept it as normal, but it's actually kind of weird. Well, it turns out that the reason for this is more straightforward than you might think. When animation first began, each frame had to be hand-drawn, and this took a lot of time. The most tedious part of the character was typically the details in the hand. So to save time, artists started drawing rounded gloves instead of hands. There is a sandwich made by Arby's that's not supposed to exist. A few years ago, the company ran an ad to display the different types of meats they offer. Now this sandwich was not real, but people started to order it anyway. Then Arby's delivered. To this day, it's not on the menu, but if you ask for the meat mountain and pay them $10, they'll make it for you. There was a forest in North Carolina that is home to the Yogi Bear Graveyard. Yes, this Yogi Bear. Look at the bears! Sheesh. Some say there's no exclamation for these statues being here, but there's always an exclamation. In the 1960s, the cartoon got so popular that the creator started a Yogi Bear restaurant to try and capitalize off the character's frame. The restaurants didn't do well at all, and most of them ending up closing. This left the owners a whole lot of statues of Yogi the Bear and other characters from the show. Instead of just sending them all into a dump, the company seemed to just dispose of them in a forest. This area very quickly became known as the Yogi Bear Graveyard. On a side note, if you ever want to try the Yogi Bear restaurant, there's one left in operation.
This is a fake Disneyland that is now abandoned and destroyed. The park was called Nara Dreamland, and if you went there before 2006, you would notice an eerie resemblance to Disneyland. Back in the 50s, a businessman was set up to open an actual Disneyland in Japan, but Walt Disney ended up pulling out of this deal. Despite this, the businessman continued with his idea and ended up creating a cheap copy of Disneyland, from the famous castle to the park entrance. It was clear what he had done. The park was a hit for a long time until new competition drove them out of business. Afterwards, Nara Dreamland was abandoned and left untouched for 10 years. There is a secret side of Disney World the company doesn't want you to see. If you look at a map of the park, there's a little green spot in the middle of Bay Lake. There's no description of what it is and it's completely off limits to everyone including employees. Around 20 years ago, this mysterious island was actually another Disney park called Discovery Island. You take a boat from shore, arrive at the island, and basically, look at exotic birds. Fast forward to 1999, Animal Kingdom opens and it's basically a bigger and easier to get to version of Discovery Island. This sparks the very quick decline of the island. Today, it's abandoned and in ruins, completely overrun by nature. It's also heavily guarded. If you're anywhere near Bay Lake, you be assured that you'll be watched. It makes you wonder if there's more to this island than Disney is letting on. This is Mr. Blobby, and believe it or not, this terrifying creature was once a beloved and very popular children's character in the UK. Mr. Blobby is popular in the UK as Barney is in America. He was originally featured on a TV show called Noel's House Party in the early 90s. Mr. Blobby's popularity grew so much that they opened an entire fleet of children's theme parks in its name. All the parks went bankrupt after about 10 years and they're now considerably haunted. I don't usually believe in the places being haunted. If this thing created the theme park, then it has to be haunted. There is a secret about Disneyland the company doesn't want you to know. If you rode the Pirates of the Caribbean ride back in the 1960s, you would be impressed with how realistic the skeletons looked. That's because when this ride opened at Disneyland, all the skeletons on the attraction were actual human bones. They tried to install fake skeletons, but Walt Disney thought they looked too fake. So instead, they worked at the medical center at the UCLA to get their hands on the real thing. Today, Disneyland said that there are no longer human remains on the ride. Some people are unconvinced. The bedchamber skull seems to have a lot of speculation around it. Insiders confirmed that it was, in fact, real. And others have said that this skull was in particular was donated by a former employee.